I'm going to be sharing something pretty cool that I learned today about HTTP statuses. So to get started, I'm going to import from enum the enum class because we're going to create an enum. And here we'll create something called a status, which is going to hold some HTTP statuses. And that's going to contain the enum. Now inside here, we're going to have OK, which is equal to 200. We have bad gateway, for example, which is equal to 502. And we have forbidden, which will be equal to 403. So we are manually writing these out. And these are not magic numbers. These are the corresponding codes for when you try to access a web page. Then we can create that enum. We can say status is equal to, let's say, status.forbidden. So we're just going to simulate a forbidden status. And if the status is equal to status.forbidden, we're going to handle it as follows, forbidden. And that's all we're going to do. So that's a very straightforward way to handle HTTP statuses, but there is a big issue, and that is that we need to keep track of all of this manually, which can end up being a huge waste of time. Something much better and much more efficient that I recently learned about is that you can just import that. You can import from HTTP the HTTP status. And this is a really cool module because it contains literally all of the status codes that we need, plus some added information. So we don't need to hard code all of that from scratch. So for example, we can print the HTTP status of OK. And on top of that, if we duplicate that, we also get a phrase and a description. And you'll see that when we run this, we're going to get the code, first of all, then we're going to get the phrase, which says OK. And we're also going to get the description, which is a lot of added functionality for free. So we don't have to worry about taking care of this enum class anymore. We now have all of these statuses for free just by importing this module, which is part of vanilla Python. And we can also do it with something else. We can print HTTP status and we can say too many requests. We're going to do the same thing as earlier. We're going to say phrase and we're also going to get the description of it. In case you want to return something to the user, you'll see that it's going to give us the phrase that says too many requests. And you can also add this message for either debugging or if you want to be much more specific to the user, you can also show it to them. Although I think it would be weird as a user to read that the user has sent too many requests in a given amount of time. I think too many requests is adequate for that example. Now let's do one more example. Let's add uh, I'm a teapot, and this is a status that I recently learned about. I absolutely love this HTTP status. I hope someday when I make a website, I'll be able to use it. But this is a real HTTP status, which is numbered as 418. And all it does is say, I'm a teapot, and server refuses to brew coffee because it is a teapot. Absolutely beautiful. I love this Easter egg in the programming world. But to sum this up, use this module instead of hard coding all those values, because actually, if you look inside it, you'll get a good reference to everything that you can use, such as continue, switching protocols. And you'll see it's just filled with tuples that have the phrase and the description for every HTTP code that you could possibly want. But anyways, do let me know what you think about this module in Python, or if you have any other cool tips or tricks that I can share with more people. And with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.